Hey, hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this mesh gradient animation in Figma. So in the background, you can see this gradient is moving. So let's create this. It's quite easy to do. Let's get started. So first of all, we'll create a frame, an empty frame. So this will be our empty frame. I'll just remove everything from it. Now, now we need to create some shapes here within this. I'll randomly create any shape. These are not okay. Everything is randomly placed here. Now select any color palette which whatever you like. I'll just add this purple pinkish kind of palette here. Once you added your shade, you can add an effect which is layer blur. Like this. Here we go. Looks good. Now you can definitely adjust it keep adjusting it until you are satisfied i'm satisfied for the tutorial so this is frame one duplicated now this is frame two keep keep these moving now how you want this mesh to move i'll do it in that way once again make a duplicate now i want this to go here this one to go here this shape i want to go here good good select everything now group them as a component make a component select the first frame then go to the prototype attach with the second frame select the after delay one millisecond and give it a 200 millisecond and make sure sure it's a smart animate and then linear curve select the second frame attach with the third one select after delay one millisecond uh, smart animate linear 2000 okay and then select the last frame and attach this with the first one then same goes for here give a after delay value delay one millisecond a smart animate, animate linear 2000 that's it now our component is created i'll just create a frame here so i can run this duplicate add here so i'm adding component inside this frame let me just adjust it properly and just add us any text here so it will look decent hi not hi hello <laughs> uh, here we go now i'll just go to the preview let's see how it works so here you can see it's working properly so this is how you do it and you can play with the layer values you can play play with the back background blur some some of the blending values so implement all those things and you'll get amazing result